love inside of all your souls. You creatures have for your home. They're delicious, by the way. And now as for you, Majesty. It's time for the end of your fucking misery. <laughs> That crown of yours will be mine to take over it for now. All I just need few fixes about that boring design hat. So what's the naming of my own noble spoil? Queen, let me see then. Queen Florence. No, that's stupid. Queen Mary. No, nope, sound it like shit. Queen Elizabeth. Nah, too nostalgic. I got it. Queen Chrysalis has a nice ring to it, doesn't it, gentlemen? and blocked us from the city. But is this really the way to get back in? Emperor Incitatius is a buffoon. The very fact that he figured out who I was and had the power to throw us from the city walls irks me. If this doesn't work, I'll eat my hat. You're not wearing a hat, my queen. My crown, then. That's a crown. I thought it was weird into anything a piece of shit junk. Hold your fucking tongue, or I will throw you off from this shithole vessel. Just like at that commanding shit. Those authoritative eyes, that compelling tail, and you thought this was a bad thing. It has presence. It's a presence present. Say that five times fast with me. Cease your blathering. If any pony deserves to be silenced, it's you. Snookums, my dear. How many things I have to tell you that I was just posing as your fiancé to dream you of your honor? You fuck. But you broke the shield just to come see me. Admit it. You still love me, do you? The only pony you are capable of loving is yourself. Lucky for me, that suits my taste just actually fine. But soon, be cool. I'm sorry what I've done to you. Not like this. Oh, what now? Another Emperor Incitatius Guardian. I am so sorry. You've just missed out the reunion for both of us. You should come along on me, you monster. Never heard of you? You probably think. I was the biggest threat to your first witness encounter. Let's make sure for both of us. One on one. So how about it, princess? I would take your accept offer request. But here, we'll move away from the city and we fight there. Do we have a deal? I'd accept yourself called heroic circumstances. And by the way, let's have at it. You were trapped in the volcano. How did you manage to get out of that? Oh, you don't want to hear all about that. Well, all right. It all started with the dragon. It was not the most pleasant ambience. Too bad ambience is so important when it comes to a home. Feng Shu and that piece of garbage. Maybe you should save the fancy decor talk for later, Rarity. Let's just get to the Queen campaign story, please. Doesn't that princess usually turn her foes into statues? I think I'd pick the topiary over this dump. Erupting! The entrance is opening. Is our sentence over? Are we free finally? Is that a cave and I hear? A dragon? Are you really kidding me? Just the one mythical creature that doesn't feel any love comes to call. Nope. Not free, gentlemen. Well, well. Here I was looking for a new home to rest my wings, and I happened upon a fully stocked pantry. What a treat. <sighs> Think of something, you fool. What? That you could ever thinking of something? Are you out of your mind? Well, it's just such an honor to be eaten by such a resplendent beast as yourself. Quite the honor on kind of a big deal when it comes to the dragon world, you know. Have you ever heard of the great Sergio? We've all heard of your glorious scales. Perhaps you could show to us. My scales are gorgeous. I polish them daily. I'm so glad you noticed. We need to get him to do something. To get away from that opening is blocked out. Oh, great. Get him to breathe fire. Yes, 
great big scales, and I've once seen saw a humble dragon in the Equestria. That the Greek fire flames is so hot it could definitely melt in a rock. Can you do that for us before we get any eaten of our dying last request? Wait, that was my awful suggestion. I'll take it back on my idea. Do you mean you take it back? That was your fucking idea. Fire! I am the best fire drake in the north. I can take out the entire forest with a good sneeze. How is that? Did you see how big of that fire I breathed it out? It's kind of my thing, you know. Very effective. And now, what of your wings? I heard you had the most impressive of all the dragons. So tell me about your wings. My wings are very impressive. I'll show you this one more thing, but then I must eat you all. You understand, right? Pretty majestic, huh? There's a pony in Canterlot that makes little silver figurines based off me in this pose. They're so oh cute God. when I what see are them. Doing? Really? What have you done? I want to see one. I think I have one figurine here just a second. <laughs> Whited bastard. He sure was a good dragon. But good escape plan, my queen. Maybe you shouldn't throw me next time. But I was talking about you, my little Mitch Whited bastard. Hey, why are you taking my helmet off? Wait, no. Not going in about the punch. It's hot. Very hot in here. What? I'll find him that way. But he's was fine, probably. I think. Chrysalis, there's another thing is I don't have in here. Since you've been so open right now, can you tell me, well, where are you from? We don't know about your origins. Well, I could tell you that if... If... if what? It's a lonely place in here. I have like a book of that rainbow one is actually reading. That new Daring Do's book, correct? I haven't read it yet. A book? Today a reader, tomorrow is leader. I always say... I'll buy another one. Asking for a book is showing signs of true reform. Oh, it doesn't fit! Could you open the door a crack and slide it in here? I'm not much of a condition to fight anymore. I've done that to her. I'd need at least make things a little better for her. Okay, I'm gonna leave this book right by door. That's just what you've wanted it. Thank you, Twilight. Chrysalis, you don't have to do this. Please stop! Do you really want to know how we came to be? Well, I will actually tell you, Twilight. A million years ago, I was a unicorn up been murdered by traitor. That is my love that kill me from cheating and drop it off my corpse in the pit of a box. Some pony have reactivated a dark, magical old rotting tree, so I was revived into a revenant that raised from the dead into this hideous form transformation, along with the others. And that's where I came back to seek my vengeance upon my will. I... I thought that was you the whole time. You see, Twilight, there is no story here. I was actually just born this way. about this. So, 
He could update your report to including the day you let one of the Equestrian most notorious psychotic villains had escaped. I have a quill! I can read it right now! <laughs> <laughs>